So you made an awesome recording of yourself playing a video game in OBS and you spent like 30 minutes or an hour on it. You're ready to get it into your editing software, make your edits and then post it to YouTube. Well, when you get it in your editing software, you discover that your audio is out of sync, either with your gameplay footage or your microphone audio, or your audio is stuttering. Hi, my name is Ascalon, and I'm gonna show you right now how to fix those audio issues with OBS. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna get OBS pulled up. I already have it pulled up because that's what I'm using to record this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do if your audio is out of sync when you go, when you go to edit it or your audio is stuttering, okay? Almost like it's like it was peaking while you're recording. To fix that issue, first of all, in OBS, you need to click File, and then you're gonna go to Settings, and then it's gonna pull up all your different settings for OBS, and so you're gonna click on Audio. And as you can see here, um, there is a drop-down arrow here. Um, you can change your audio sample rate to either 48 kilohertz or 44.1. I have mine set to 48 kilohertz um, because when I had mine at 44.1 kilohertz, uh, my audio was out of sync. And so I put mine at 48 kilohertz. Now, whatever you have it in OBS, so let's say you have to use 44.1 kilohertz because maybe your computer is not you know, the best computer out there. Um, your computer may not be able to handle anything above that. Um, you can change this to 44.1 kilohertz. I can't right now because I'm currently recording in OBS, or you can set it to 48 kilohertz. But it's important to keep in mind whatever you set it, your sample rate at, whatever kilohertz you set it at, because you're gonna have to do that for everything that you use to record. So, the next thing we need to do after making sure we check to see what it is in OBS, you're gonna go to your search bar here, and you're gonna type in sound or start typing in sound settings and it should come up. Okay, Windows is pretty smart. It should pop it up. You click on that to open up your sound settings. And then once you get here to the right of the screen here, you'll see sound control panel. So you click on that and that's gonna bring up everything that you use for playback, like things that you have hooked up to your computer. Also for recording, there's a sounds tab and communications tab. Well, on the playback tab, as you can see here, Okay, I have two monitors, I have my speakers, and I have different other outputs and different things depending on what I'm using. Well, the stuff that's grayed out right now, I'm not using, okay? So what I'm going to do is, the things that I am using to record, every single thing, I'm gonna make sure I change them to match the sample rate that I had in OBS. So in my case, it's 48 kilohertz. For you, it might be 44.1 kilohertz. So I'm gonna click on one of my monitors here, right click on it, and then I'm gonna click Properties. And then once I'm here, I'm gonna click Advanced. And as you can see here, my format here says 16-bit, 48,000 uh, hertz, which is the 48 kilohertz, okay? So I gotta make sure that every other device matches that. Now, um, keep in mind, not only do you have to match the, the kilohertz, you also have to match the bit. Okay, because I was still having issues, even when I matched everything to 48 kilohertz, I was still having issues because everything was not at 16-bit. And some of the stuff that I used to record, the highest you can go is 16-bit. And I had some things at 16, some things at 32. So I have mine set 16-bit, 48,000 uh, hertz. And again, you need to set it for whatever the max your devices can do, 16-bit, 32-bit, whatever, and also make sure the kilohertz match what is in OBS. So I'm gonna click okay there, then I'm gonna go to my second monitor, same thing, click properties, click advance, make sure it's 16-bit, 48,000 uh, hertz, and then my speakers, right click on that, properties, click advance, make sure that is 16-bit, 48 uh, uh, kilohertz as well. And then not only that you wanna do for playback, you wanna also go to recording. And I use several things to record. I have my Yeti microphone, I have my game capture whenever I'm playing Xbox One or PlayStation 4 video games. I have that and then I have my webcam um, using the Cam Link 4K here. So you're gonna also right click on these things as well that you have on the recording, click advance. As you can see here, my Cam Link it's grayed out. The highest it can go is 16-bit, but also make sure that it's at 48 kilohertz here. Click OK. Same thing with my game capture. Right-click properties, advance. It's also at 16-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my, my Yeti microphone. Make sure it's at 16-bits, 48 kilohertz. And because as you can see here, 
Um, you can change it to different things, okay? Again, my microphone can only do 16-bit no matter what I have it set at. And then I click OK. Now, as long as you have everything set at the correct bit, that it's all the same across the board, and you have the kilohertz set the same across the board, that should take care of any stuttering in your audio that you may be hearing um, after you record an OBS. It should also help fix uh, the audio being out of sync. Okay, and so I wanted to just make this tutorial to kind of show you guys a quick fix there. So if you're having those issues, I would start there um, by coming to the sound control panel and making sure that everything matches what you have in OBS. If you're still having issues after that, then you know you may be having some hardware issues or some issues with your drivers and different things like that that you may look into. But I found this was a pretty uh, easy fix for me. Um, I just recently upgraded to a new computer and so I tried to use the same settings that were in my old computer. Actually, some of the settings I didn't even look at, but the OBS settings I used the same as my old computer. And then I found out that I had audio issues. Like at first, my audio was just completely out of sync. Um, and so when I got into my editing process, uh, my editing software, there was one video I didn't even notice that it was out of sync. It was just like barely off with my webcam. And so I ended up, you know, editing that like normal and then I realized it later that the audio was out of sync and so I started changing you know sample rates but I had some stuff um, at 44.1 and some things at 48 and so it made the out of the out of sync audio like even worse like I had a, a, the next video I made the audio was way off by like a couple of seconds and I just made the adjustments in the editing process but you want to save time um, I didn't want to spend the extra time in the editing process trying to remove the um, the, you know, move everything over to make it match, you know, what I was saying in my webcam and what the, and what you could hear in the gameplay footage. Um, and then, so once I changed everything to match, I still had the bit was still different. Um, certain, certain things was 32, certain things was 16. And so then I was getting like this weird stuttering in my gameplay footage. Like my microphone uh, recordings were fine. The gameplay footage audio though was just stuttering. It was just awful. And so once I lined everything up with the, the bit and the kilohertz, then I had no more audio issues. So again, try this first. If it doesn't work for you, then you may have some, you know, other issues with your hardware and different things like that. So hopefully this quick little tutorial will help you guys out. Um, I'm going to try to make some more tutorials because I'm still a beginner um, using OBS and Adobe Premiere to edit myself. And so I want to help other beginners like myself fix issues and learn how to use the software and different things like that. All right. So it's your boy Ascalon. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you, if you like what you saw here, um, click that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. I have video game playthroughs. I have Disney videos where my wife talk about various things with Disney World. I got some other videos in the works that's coming pretty soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Y'all take care. Peace.